Welcome back to My Crazy Landlord. So as you know, we've been talking about predatory uh, landlords or and just crazy. horrible living situations. So if you missed those videos, make sure that you click that link right there. Go back and watch them. Share them out with your friends. See if they think that this stuff is crazy. <laughs> In this episode, our crazy landlord gets even crazier. As you saw a couple episodes ago in the episode where he could have potentially run over our child, we asked him to make sure that he gives us 48 hours notice. Mm -hmm. And he told us that that was unacceptable and we could it's just It's the move. law! It's, it doesn't it's matter that law. it's the law. Yeah, it doesn't matter that it's the law. Oh my gosh. Like just if we don't like it. We can just sit there and eat a bowl of shut the hell up. You know what that sounds like to me? Let me make an analogy here. You're in this like abusive relationship and you tell your significant other, hey, don't punch me in the face. Like you can't do that, <laughs> that's abusive. And the abuser says, what? You deserved it. And like, if you don't like it, then why don't you just move out? Like, you know, that's, it's unacceptable. We have an abusive landlord. Very. If you don't like it, you can just leave. I mean, that's that's like, in the middle of a pandemic, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. There's a moratorium on evictions and stuff. Right. And, and He's trying to say he was going to file for an eviction and like, he can't even do that yet. So yesterday, I get a text. Okay, before he reads this message, let me explain real quick how over half of this house is blocked off. Like there's um, plywood screwed into the door frame so that we can't get into it because there's a room off the kitchen that has a bunch of stuff in it from, I guess, the previous tenants. And then the whole upstairs is blocked off because it's it's um, it needs work. So we it's literally a one bedroom now. Now mind you, we were told off. that we were moving into a two bedroom. Mm -hmm. We were told that we were moving into a two bedroom. Which he later denied. Mm -hmm. I received this text on May 9th. We'll be at the house at 10 today to see about cleaning out that room for you. This room that's off of the kitchen. So we're like, wow, okay, finally some good news. Not 48 place. hours notice, but we were excited we might have our other bedroom. Right. Finally. Finally. After all this time, we've been paying rent for what was supposed to be a two bedroom, but we've been in one bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yes! So they come, we let them in there. Even during a pandemic, it was like Even very uncomfortable having people walking which through we the had kitchen. to sanitize when they left. Mm -hmm. They come in and get about three or four things out of that room. Drill it back closed, leave, and they haven't been back since mm -hmm. to get anything else out of there. So they didn't want to clean out that room for us. They, and needed, no they needed something they out needed there. They needed a couple things out of that room. And that was their excuse to get it. So here we are, screwed again. <laughs> so yesterday, I get a text. And it says that Richard and Brenda... Need names to, change to protect names, their privacy. Names change to protect their privacy. Need to get in that room off of your kitchen. They're just going to stop down later today. Just FYI. How many times have we told this man we need 48 hours notice? One, I don't know these people. I don't know these people. Read the message you sent back. So I said, 48 hours notice for the landlord to enter a property. You can't just make up laws as you go. Just an FYI. <laughs> I don't even know them and they could be carrying Corona. You are not risking my family. Ooh, snap. I mean, enough's enough. At some point in time, you, you gotta fight back. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is just ridiculous. You can't, you can't just willy-nilly follow laws and not follow laws. People get in trouble for that. Which he is, my sister knows him personally. And she has said that he's always, he always gets his way. No one ever stands up to him and he always wins. So that's just a little something I wanna throw in there. So then I get a message back and he says, well, we'll be getting access off of the back porch. We'll be there this afternoon. That never materialized. It was raining all day. I think that's why. 
Think so? No. <laughs> you think it's cousin? No. I think that you're gonna have to ding that bell and tune into the next episode to find out what happens next. <laughs>